worship a pagan goddess? Absolutely, 100%. Uh, what they call the Queen of Heaven is actually a pagan goddess, a pagan sky goddess, which is actually condemned in scripture. But let me show you this. Uh, Queen, and for those of you who don't know, the, the Roman Catholic Church, all of this is just repackaged paganism. It is not the, the faith that Jesus Christ gave to the world. It's not the church that Jesus Christ founded. It, it's just repackaged paganism. But Google, go on Google and search up Queen of Heaven. It says here, Queen of Heaven is a title given to Mary, the mother of Jesus, by you know, Christians, quote-unquote Christians, mainly of the Catholic Church, and to a lesser extent, Anglicanism, Lutheranism, and Eastern Orthodoxy. This title is a con consequence of the first council of Ephesus in the 5th century. Huh, the 5th century? So not back in the 1st century with the early believers, it's in the 5th century, 500 years later. Or maybe it's 400 years later, sorry. Uh, which Mary was proclaimed uh, Theotikos, th whatever, a title rendered in Latin as Mater Dei, in English, the Mother of God. Hmm. It's funny, because I don't recall God having a mother. You know, and, and in Catholic, Catholics, Catholics, what they'll say is that you know, because I, I've debated, I've talked about this with Catholics, they'll say, well, we don't believe she's like divine or anything. We just believe she's the mother of God. Um, calling her the mother of God, and they'll say, well, she's the mother of Jesus. Yeah, she's the mother of Jesus' incarnate body. She's not the mother of, of Jesus as the Son of God. You know, ridiculous. She's not, she's the mother. Of, she gave. She was a vessel to give birth to Jesus in his physical form. She's not. She's not the mother of Jesus in the sense of a mother-child relationship with her being the mother of the Son of God. You know, it's not like that. She's the mother. She was used by God to give birth to Jesus in his incarnate form. But Jesus has always existed. She was not. She's not the mother of God in the sense of a of a of a basically a, a, a how, do I, how do I word this properly of a child mother relationship in the sense where Jesus was like was like conceived by her and created by her you know it's ridiculous the title Queen of Heaven has long been a Catholic tradition included in prayers devotional literature and seen in Western art in the subject of the coronation of the Virgin you know a ch a chapter and chapter and verse on this please I mean this is ridiculous. The Bible says in Acts 17:29, it forbids. In Acts chapter 17, verse 29, it forbids making graven images of the Godhead. So I mean, what are you doing making these 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 uh, graven images right here, of this this sodomite-looking, long-haired guy called Jesus, this guy they call God the Father, and this bird they think is the Holy Ghost, and they're coronating Mary. I mean, and and, and you claim you don't make her divine, you know? It's ridiculous. She was a sinner, you know. She was a good woman. I'm not denying that. She was. A very holy woman. She was a, a righteous. She, God used her very greatly, but she's not the mother of God. She's not the queen of heaven. I mean, ridiculous. But in the Middle Ages, and long before it was given a formal definition, uh, definition status by the church. So they mean the Catholic Church. Well, also if you Google Queen of Heaven, you'll have Queen of Heaven Antiquity. So you have here of Queen of Heaven the Roman Catholic Church, Queen of Heaven Antiquity. Queen of Heaven is given to, is a title given to a number of ancient sky goddesses worshipped throughout the Mediterranean or ancient Mediterranean and Near East during the times. So basically, like the Middle East area, all that stuff. Um, it was a sky goddess, you know, before Islam took over. Which is funny because Allah, you know, the, the Islamic god Allah, he's simply he's a, he's a lunar, you know, sky god too, essentially. But you know, birds of a feather flock together. You know, Roman Catholics, uh, Islam, and, and paganism. You know, birds of a feather flock together. Because, again, just do, I'm not going to go through it in this video, but just do the research on Allah. The Islamic god Allah is just a um, pagan uh, lunar deity, but off topic. Uh, goddesses have also been referred to the title, by the title include Inanna, Anat, Isis, Ishtar, Astarte, I think, oh, I hope I'm saying, oh, wow, that looks, looks creepy, uh, Ashtenik, I hope I'm saying that right, and possibly Ash, Asha, Ashira. By the prophet Jeremiah, so the prophet Jeremiah condemned this stuff because uh, again it angered the God of Israel, the uh, Jehovah God. Uh, in Greco-Roman times, Hera, I think I hope I hope I'm pronouncing this right, and her Roman aspect Juno uh, bore the title. Forms of the, of the con of content forms and content of worship vary. In modern times, the title Queen of Heaven is a is a, still still used by contemporary pagans. Interesting. It referred to the great goddess, while Catholics and Orthodox and Anglican Christians, quote unquote Christians, now apply the ancient title, the ancient title, interesting, to Mary the mother of Jesus. So the Queen of Heaven is a is a Middle Eastern sky goddess, you know? Which is again it goes to the thing with Islam too. Because Islam, you know, when it comes down to it, again Allah, you know, Allah is simply 
a moon god, so, you know, it makes sense that Mary is a sky goddess, you know, maybe she, you know, because Muslims, they venerate uh, Mary to, like, extreme levels. So maybe, you know, just a little fun thought, maybe it's where Mary is maybe the husband of Allah, and then because Allah is, you know, I mean, just just, just a thought, but uh, let's go into some scripture real quick. You know, I got a little bit sidetracked right there. See, yeah, I'm still fallible, you know. But go and just go in your Bible app and search up Queen of Heaven. And you're going to come up with a whole bunch of verses. Jeremiah chapter 7, verse 18. Jeremiah chapter 44, verse 17. I'll read that for you. But we, sorry, but we will certainly do whatsoever thing goeth forth out of our own mouth to burn incense unto the Queen of Heaven, to pour out drink offerings unto her, as we have done. We and our fathers, our kings and our princes, and the cities of Judah, and the streets of Jerusalem. For then we have plenty of victuals, and where well, uh, and saw no evil. Sorry. Uh, Jeremiah chapter 44, verse 18. But since we left to burn incense to the Queen of Heaven, so go to any Catholic Mass, they're going to be burning incense to uh, Mary, this pagan goddess. To pour our drink offerings unto her, uh, we have wanted all things and have been consumed by the sword and or by the famine. Sorry. And, and, and by the famine. Sorry. Again, not good at reading. Jeremiah 44, 19. And, and when we burn incense to the Queen of Heaven and poured out drink offerings unto her, we did make cakes to worship her and pour out drink offerings unto her without our men. Jeremiah 44, 25. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, saying, Ye and your wives have spoken uh, with your mouths and fulfilled with your hands, saying, We will surely perform our vows, and that we have vowed to burn incense to the Queen of Heaven and to pour out drink offerings unto her. We will ye shall surely accomplish your vows and surely perform your vows. So the only reference to any kind of queen of heaven in the Bible is is there a pagan Babylonian goddess. You know, it's ridiculous. So the Catholics will say, oh, we're not pagans. The Muslims will say, oh, we're not pagans. Yeah, they are. You know, the Muslims have their pagan, you know, lunar deity Allah, which probably, I, I guess you could say, is like the, I guess Mary is like the husband of the wife of Allah or something like that. Because they're both sky deities. And you got the Catholics who worship Mary, you know, the Queen of Heaven, which is uh, a sky goddess. So, don't be deceived by Roman Catholicism. Roman Catholicism is just, it's, again, it's just repackaged paganism. It's just repackaged uh, Roman, Babylonian, uh, Middle Eastern paganism. So, don't be deceived. God bless you. Goodbye.